Hello and welcome to this video. In this video, we will learn how to solve problems on Thomas algorithm for tri-double matrix or it is also called as tri-double matrix algorithm. In previous video, we have seen how to solve the problems based around Gauss elimination method. Let us consider a general set of linear simultaneous equation. So in Gauss elimination method, first we are writing this set of equations into matrix form ax is equal to b. Then we are doing the forward elimination. In forward elimination, in first step, we are converting all elements below first pivot element into 0. In second step, we are converting all element below second pivot element into 0 and so on. So here, as there are four equations for unknown, we will do the forward elimination in three steps. If there are three equation three unknown, then we can do forward elimination in two steps and so on. In first step of forward elimination, we have to perform these operations so that these elements will convert into zero. We have to perform these operations on each element of these rows. In second step, we are performing these operations so that these elements will convert into zero. Here also we have to perform these operations on each element of these rows. And in third step, we are performing this R4 operation so that this element will convert into zero. So here also we are performing this operation on each element of this row. Let us consider a set of equation like this. And if you write this set of equation in matrix form AX is equal to B, then we will get matrix like this. So here we can see there are three diagonal elements which are non-zero and all other elements are zero. So this type of matrix is called tridiagonal matrix. To solve such equations, Gauss elimination method can be modified so that number of calculation will be reduced. So here in first step of hard elimination, as these two elements are already zero, so it is not required to perform operation on R3 and R4 row. We need to perform only one operation that is on R2. So R2 operation will be R2 is equal to R2 minus factor into R1. In factor, at numerator, we have to write the element which we have to convert into 0, that is E2. And at denominator, we have to write the pivot element of R12. Here it is F1. Now here, by performing this operation, this E2 will convert into 0. So, without performing this operation, we will directly take this E2 as a 0. So here, it is not required to perform operation on E2. For second element, R2 element is F2 and respective R1 element is G1. So by putting values, we will get F2 minus E2 by F1 into G1. After calculation, this F2 will change to new value. So let us consider that new value is F2 dash. For next two elements, respective R1 elements are 0. So these values will not change. So here also, it is not required to perform operation on G2 and this 0. Then we can write this operation for right hand side matrix. Here second row element is R2 and respect to first row element is R1. So if we put the values of R2 and R1 then we will get this. So if we calculate this then this R2 value will change. So let us consider that new value of R2 is R2 dash. So here in forward elimination in first step instead of three row operations we have to perform only one row operation. Also, this R2 operation we have to perform only two times. That is on F2 and R2. Then, in second step of our elimination, we have to convert these elements into zero. Now here also, this is already zero. So it is not required to perform operation on R4. So here operation is R3 is equal to R3 minus factor into R2. So here in step two, we have to use the R2 row to perform the operations and in factor at a numerator we have to take the element which we have to convert into 0 so here it is E3 and in denominator we have to take the pivot element of R2 row so pivot element of R2 row is F2 but in step 1 it is changed to F2 dash so we have to take the updated value of F2 now here by performing this operation this A3 is going to convert into 0 so without performing that operation we will directly take that element as 0 now we will write this operation for F3. So R3 element is F3 and respect to R2 element is G2. So by putting values, we will get 
new value of f3. So let us consider new value of f3 as f3 dash. Now if you perform this operation on g3, then it will not change because respect to r2 element is 0. So we will not perform this operation on this next element. Now we can perform the same operation on right hand side matrix. So by putting value of r3 and r2 in this equation, we will get new value of r3. So let us consider new value of r3 is r3 dash. So we can see here in second step also we have to perform this row operation only two times that is on f3 and r3. Now we will go for third step. In third step we have to convert this element into 0. So we can write operation as r4 is equal to r4 into factor into r3. So in third step we are using r3 row. And in factor we have to write the element which we have to convert into 0 in numerator and in denominator we have to write the pivot element of r3 row. So pivot element of r3 row is f3 but in step 2 it is changed to new value. So we have to use that updated value. So here also by performing this operation this element that is e4 is going to convert into 0. So we will directly take this element as 0 without performing the operation. Now we will write this operation for f4. So respect to r4 element is f4 and r3 element is g3. So by putting values we will get new value of f4. So let us consider that new value of f4 as f4 dash. Now the same operation we can perform on right hand side matrix. Now here this r3 element is changed in previous step. So we have to use here updated values. So in this way in forward elimination in each step we have to perform only two operations. We can summarize these operations as in first step by performing this F2 operation we will get new value of F2 as F2 dash and, on right, and if we perform this operation on right hand side matrix then we will get R2 dash. Then in step 2 if we perform this operation then we will get updated value of F3 as F3 dash and for right hand side matrix we will get R3 dash. In step 3 we will perform operation on 4th row. By performing this operation we will get new value of F4 as F4 dash and for right hand side matrix we will get new value of R4. Now here we can generalize this formula. If there are 4 equation 4 unknown then there will be 3 steps. If there are 3 equation 3 unknown then there will be 2 steps. So here we can write in general. So if you take n as number of equations then this f formula we can write as fi is equal to fi minus ei divided by fi minus 1 into gi minus 1 and for right hand side matrix we can write ri is equal to ri minus ei divided by fi minus 1 into ri minus 1. So if you put i is equal to 2 then we will get these two formulas. If we put i is equal to 3 in these equations then we will get these two formulas and if we put i is equal to 4 then we will get these two formulas. So this is the formula for tridiagonal matrix algorithm. Then after forward elimination we can go for back substitution. In back substitution we are taking last row first. So here last row is fourth row. So for fourth row we can add equation as 0 into x1 plus 0 into x2 plus 0 into x3 plus f4 dash into x4 is equal to r4 dash. Here we will get value of x4 as r4 dash divided by f4 dash. Then we can write equation for third row. 0 into x1 plus 0 into x2 plus f3 dash into x3 plus g3 into x4 is equal to r3 dash. And we will get value of x3 as in bracket r3 dash minus g3 into x4 bracket complete divided by f3 dash. Similarly we can write equation for r2 as 0 into x1 plus f2 dash into x2 plus g2 into x3 plus 0 into x4 is equal to r2 dash and we will get x2 is equal to in bracket r2 dash minus g2 into x3 bracket complete divided by f2 dash. Then we can add equation for r1 as f1 into x1 plus g1 into x2 is equal to r1 and we will get x1 is equal to in bracket r1 minus g1 into x2 bracket complete divided by f1. So here also we can generalize this formula. If there are n equation n unknown then for last element we can write xn is equal to rn dash divided by fn dash. So in this way we will get last value of unknown variable. Then for remaining variables we can write in general. 
So we can write here for i is equal to n minus 1 to 1. So here n is equal to 4. So n minus 1 is equal to 3. So we can write xi is equal to in bracket ri minus gi into xi plus 1 bracket complete divided by fi. Then we are calculating x3. We are using r3, g3 and f3. When we are calculating x2, we are using r2, g2, f2. And where we are calculating x1, we are using r1, g1, f1. And here, to calculate x3, we are using x4. To calculate x2, we are using x3. And to calculate x1, we are using x2. So we can write in general, xi is equal to, in bracket, ri minus gi into xi plus 1, bracket complete, divided by fi. So here, if we put i is equal to 3, then we will get this equation. If we put i is equal to 2, then we will get this equation. And if we put i is equal to 1, then we will get this equation. So in this way, by performing back substitution, we will get values of unknown variables. Let us solve a numerical based on tri-diagonal matrix algorithm. So example is like this. Solve following set of equations using Thomas algorithm. So we can write these equations in matrix form x is equal to b like this. So here we can observe this matrix is tridiagonal matrix. So we can use Thomas algorithm. In some examples, to get this tridiagonal matrix, we need to rearrange the given equations. Now after writing in matrix form, we have to perform the operation. Now before performing the operations, we have to compare this matrix with standard matrix. So here this F1, F2, F3, this is the diagonal element. This G1, G2, it is super diagonal or upper diagonal matrix. And E2, E3, it is sub diagonal or lower diagonal matrix. So we can write formula for forward elimination. For I is equal to 2 to N. This is formula for F and this is formula for R. So here N is equal to 3. So we can put I is equal to 2 and I is equal to 3 to do the forward elimination. So here we can write the operation for i is equal to 2. So if you put i is equal to 2, then we will get this operation. So here F2 element is second element of second row, that is 2.04. E2 element is first element of second row, here it is minus 1. F1 element is first element of first row, here it is 2.01. And G1 element is second element of first row, here it is minus 1. So by putting these values, we will get F2 is equal to 1.5498 then here r2 element is 0.8 and r1 element is 48.8 so by putting values we will get r2 is equal to 24.7216 similarly we will put i is equal to 3 so to do the operations we have to use updated value of f2 and r2 so if we put i is equal to 3 then we will get this operation and here f3 means third element of third row that is 2.04 then e3 is the second element of third row that is minus 1 in this case now here f2 is now here we have to use the updated value of f2 that is 1.5498 and g2 it is third element of second row that is minus 1 so by putting these values we will get f3 is equal to 1.3948 Similarly, if we put i is equal to 3 in this equation, then we will get this formula. Now here we can see r3 is equal to 0 0.8, then e3 is equal to minus 1, f2, f2 we have to use updated value, that is 1.5498, and here r2 we have to use updated value, so r2 is equal to 24.7216. So we will get r3 is equal to 16.7514. So in this way, by performing forward elimination, we will get this matrix. Now we will do the back substitution similar to Gauss elimination method. So we will write equation for last row, that is for R3 row. So we will get X3 is equal to 12.0103. So for R2 row, we can put value of X3 and we will get value of X2 is equal to 23.7010. Then for R1 row, so we can put value of X2 as 23.7010 then we will get x1 is equal to 35.5397 so this is the solution of given set of linear equations using tridiagonal matrix algorithm so we can cross check our solution so these are the given equations and this is the solution so we can put these values in given equations 
and we can check whether we are getting this right hand side or not. So for first equation we can see here 2.04 into x1 is 35.5397 minus x2 is 23.7010. So if we put the values of x1 and x2 we will get 48.7999 which is approximately equal to 48.8. Similarly, for second equation, if we put values of x1, x2 and x3, then we will get right hand side. Similarly, for third equation, if we put values of x2 and x3, we will get 0 0.8, which is equal to right hand side. So in this way, if you put the values of x1, x2, x3 in given equations, all equations are satisfying. So we can say our answer is correct. Let us take another example. So if you write these equations in matrix form, x is equal to b, then we will get this matrix. So here we can compare this matrix with standard tardable matrix and we can write the formula. Now here number of equations and unknowns are 4. So here we can write equations for i is equal to 2, then i is equal to 3 and i is equal to 4. So if you put i is equal to 2, then we will get formula for f2 and r2. And if you calculate, then we will get F2 is equal to 4.8 and R2 is equal to 6.1. Then if you put I is equal to 3, then we will get formula for F3 and R3. And if you calculate the values, then we will get F3 is equal to 4.7917 and R3 is equal to 12.7708. Now remember, while calculating values of F3 and R3, we have to use latest value of F2 and R2. Then if we put I is equal to 4, we will get formula for F4 and R4 and if we put values then we will get F4 is equal to 4.7913 and R4 is equal to 19.1652. So here also remember to calculate value of F4 and R4 we have to use the updated value of F3 and R3. And after this by back substitution we will get value of X4 as 4, value of X3 as 3.5, value of X2 as 2 and value of X1 as 1.5. So in this way, we can solve examples by using tridable matrix algorithm. Thank you for watching.